Hey, this is Alex from SERP API. We get a lot of customers wanting to connect SERP API data to Google Sheets, and they don't want to write any code to do it. With our make.com app, you can create very complex integrations between SERP API and loads of other systems, including Google Sheets, without writing any code. In this video tutorial, I'll walk you through a couple basic scenarios to update or add data in Google Sheets, and you'll see you can accomplish it in only a few minutes without writing any code. Let's get started. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is create a very simple Google Sheet. I've chosen a few arbitrary fields here that we'll collect from SERP API. Um, I've also included a few basic keywords here. Feel free to make this more complex. This is just uh, for demonstration purposes. All right, now that our Google Sheet is set up, we can pop over to make.com and create a new scenario. We'll start off using the Google Sheets app, looking for the Git range values module. Great. So I have a connection here already. If you don't have one, hit the button to create one. It'll prompt you to go through the OAuth flow to connect your Google account with make.com. It's pretty straightforward. Once you're connected, this will automatically populate and then you can select a spreadsheet. So I'll choose a SERP API demo one that we created previously and then hit sheet one. All right, for the range, we can just double check. Uh, we're just gonna look for A2 and A3, very simple. So we'll pop that in A2 to A3. And then yes, we have headers. And the headers are A1 to D1. Okay. And then we'll try running that to see what the output looks like. All right. So it looks like we have both our keywords. We have output bundle one with coffee and output bundle two with tea. All set. Now we can hook up SERP API. So we'll add another module. Look for SERP API and then we'll add the standard Google search. All right, here we'll need to create a fresh connection. So I'll hit that. And then this is as simple as pasting in your API key. So we'll save that. All right, looks good. So once you're connected, a bunch of parameters will open up here to allow you to configure your search. We're gonna do a very simple search where we're just gonna use the keyword from our Google Sheet. Now, this will automatically process for each row of our Google Sheet. So because we have two keywords, this will run two SERP API searches. Let's double check that. Okay, great. So we have two operations that went through. Looks like we searched for coffee in the first one. That looks good. And we searched for tea in the second one. All good. Now we can try updating some rows in our Google Sheet. So we'll add another Google Sheet module, specifically the one for updating a row. We have a connection so we can skip that bit and then we'll connect it to our spreadsheet again. And then sheet one, of course. All right, so for the row number, we'll just pull it from the get range values module. Once again, this is gonna process one by one for each row in the source spreadsheet at the beginning. Uh, we don't wanna update the keyword, so we'll leave that blank. Uh, we'll just populate these with the SERP API results. So total results, we'll get under search information and then total results, we can just click that. And then first title, we'll go into organic results, click on title, and then we'll do the same for link. Okay, and then we'll try running that. Okay, looks like some something happened here, but the best way to check is to check our Google Sheet. And yep, we have our results here. So we have a uh, number of results for each keyword, the first title and the results, and also the first link. Looks good. Now this is only so useful. In many cases, you're not gonna to wanna to update rows. You're gonna to wanna to add rows. So we'll go ahead and try that now. So I've created a new sheet here and then added a series of new headers called keyword, title, link, and position. And in this one, we'll go through all the organic results and we'll add each one one by one as a own row. Back on make.com, I've removed our update row module and next we'll have to add an iterator module. So in this case, we're gonna to want to iterate over all the organic results and then populate each one in our spreadsheet. So look for flow control iterator and then select the organic results array. Hit okay, and then we'll try running it. We can ignore this and run anyway. And we'll take a look. Okay, so we have two bundles again because we ran two searches. And if we take a look of the output of the iterator, uh, we have a bundle for each result. So we have coffee from Wikipedia as the first one, Pete's coffee, blue bottle coffee, etc. All right, that looks promising. We'll double check T. And yes, we have a series of results, organic results. 
Now our last step will be adding another Google Sheets module. In this case, we're going to want to add a row. And then we have our connection set up already. We'll simply select the spreadsheet. And then this time we're going to want to select sheet two because that's where we're putting our log of, of search results. You'll recall last time we left keyword blank, but this time we're going to want to populate it. So we can get that from a few places, but we'll just get it from the uh, SERP API response. And then we'll populate title. Now it's important to select title, link, and position from the iterator output, not from the SERP API output. Uh, if you select from the SERP API output, you're only going to get the first result like we did in the previous step. Uh, so if you select it from the iterator, you'll get each individual result one by one. So we can hit link for that one, and then we'll get position. All right, hit OK, and we'll give that a spin. We can head over to our spreadsheet to make sure that's working. And yeah, looks like it's populating everything for coffee and for tea. Excellent. All right, that wraps it up. Uh, I know this was fairly simple, but hopefully this will convey some of the basics of how to link up Google Sheets, SERP API, and make.com, and then you can start building more complex uh, scenarios from here.